I recently came across a psalm that, I don't know, I must not have read it in years, but it was so crazy. Psalm 78 is basically a summary of the Old Testament right up until the time of David. And it was crazy because I've been reading through the Bible and I felt like it perfectly um, captured everything that had happened in the story up until then. And then I came across this verse in Psalm 78, which I feel like, forget the chapter being a summary, this tiny verse is a brilliant summary of the Old Testament, and it's kind of hard to hear, so ready yourself. Psalm 78, when he, God, when he killed them, they sought him. They repented and sought God earnestly. When he killed them, they sought him. That is hard. That is a hard truth of the Old Testament. So many times, if you're not reading carefully through scripture, uh, you're just finding a chapter where God inflicts judgment on his people and you're thinking, wow, God is harsh. What is God doing? Why is he being so harsh with them? But then if you read through all of the Old Testament, you walk away with a completely different picture. Why is God so patient with them? How is it that they still still are not faithful to God. He has shown them mercy and mercy and mercy and miracles and miracles and miracles. And somehow they still are being unfaithful to him. Well, here it is, Psalm 78. We see that God sometimes chooses to win people back by giving them what their deeds deserve, by inflicting justice on them, by pouring out his wrath on them. And I'll be honest with you, those are the parts of the Old Testament that are hard to read. But it was crazy for me to read a recounting of God's deeds in the Old Testament in the context of praise. Because did you catch what the psalmist said? It was when he killed them that they began to seek him. When God actually started to inflict justice on the earth and punish people as their deeds deserve, that was when their hearts began to turn. And if you read the Old Testament and you read on in the Psalm, as their hearts begin to turn, so his heart begins to turn and he stops dealing out justice and once again gives them mercy. If you keep reading the Old Testament, their mercy, his mercy eventually ends them, leads to them being unfaithful and so the cycle continues. So what, what do we do with that? Here's what we do. First, when you're reading the Old Testament, don't just read one story. You have to read it all together. If you want to understand the Old Testament, read the whole Old Testament and then read the New Testament and then go back and read the Old Testament. It's only when you see it all together that the picture of who God is actually emerges. He is a good God who is always after after people trying to win them back, not only to himself, but also to what is good for other people. So that's the first thing. Read the whole Old Testament together. Second, ask yourself this question. How am I being unfaithful to God? Based on all his unfaithful, all of his faithfulness and all of my unfaithfulness, where am I currently living in a way that is so unfaithful that I may begin to receive the anger of God and the judgment of God and the justice of God in my life? You can learn from the Israelites' example. You can learn from the Old Testament. Instead of repeating their mistakes, you can instead say, God, based on what I've read about who you are, I choose to take a different path. I want to follow you root out any unfaithfulness in me because I don't want it to take hard judgment in order for my heart to belong to you. Can I just offer you my heart now? Please come dwell inside me and empower me to live a life that pleases you. When you do that, you can escape the judgment that Psalm 78 records and you can just skip to the part where you get to live in, in the goodness, the mercy, the grace, and the favor of God. That's Psalm 78 a kind of a weird psalm to encourage you, but I hope nonetheless that the story of God's faithfulness to his people can be a reminder of his faithfulness to you and a call for you to be faithful to him. I hope that encourages you.